What's up guys, it's Sunny Spell. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. So, aside from all the fishing I do, I have a lot of different camera gear and GoPro gear. So I want to make a special video for that to show you guys. If you guys are looking in to get a GoPro, this video will be just for you. And so I have all the equipment and stuff I use when I go out fishing and all the GoPro equipment I have. And so I want to make a special video to show you guys what kind of stuff I use. So let's just get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is my GoPro. And so I'm going to start just talking about my GoPro. Then when I'm done talking about my GoPro, I'm actually going to use that, put it on my head strap and make the rest of this video so you guys can see how the quality of this video ends up using the GoPro. And so the first thing I'm going to talk about, it is the Hero 4 Session. I bought it $200 new. You can buy it right about now for probably $150. It uses a normal charger one for your Motorola, Samsung, you know, the normal charger you use, the everyday charger you probably have if you have a Samsung or Motorola, uses that charger and it has a micro SD card right as you open up the slot right here. And so you can just take your micro SD card, plug it right into your laptop or computer and just edit right from there. You can take it out and there's an app called GoPro and you can just gonna edit the videos right from there. If you're a beginner, I would start with this camera for the price. And so I'll show you guys, I'm going to turn the brightness all the way down and turn this thing on. Its battery is really low, so it's last one a full charge about two hours. And so right now zero one, you see it shows right there. It's got the battery right there. It, I can run in sixty frames per second. Right now I'm running thirty frames per second, ten eighty p. And so it shows it all right there. And so now I'm gonna put on the GoPro and show you guys the rest of this. All right, guys. So. The first thing I have right here is a tripod. It can get up to 57 inches. I can extend these things like all the way down to here. And so it stands, gotta tighten this one too, I guess. So it stands pretty much about like, I can also raise this thing up like this so it can just point straight at my face right here if I had another camera. I have one right there, but you know, I kind of forgot how to charge the battery. You know, it's really random. Okay, so I can just have it right, right here, or when I'm fishing in a ice shack or something, and I'm standing right here, I can have another camera pointing right here so they can see everything I'm doing so you guys have a better angle. And so I use that a lot for when I have my waterproof camera that I have no clue where it is, and I was charging it, and then I kind of forgot where I put it, like I do with everything. Okay, now I'm done talking about my life. I have a long uh, selfie stick, I guess you want to call it, but you're not really selfieing, you're GoPro-ing, that's even a real word. So you hold up like this, you know, you're in a kayak or you're doing something cool, you hold it up like this, and you have the, the GoPro or your camera, or I can clip my camera onto one of these things too, and I can just go like this and, you know, do what a selfie stick is actually designed for. And so, yeah, that's pretty much the selfie stick, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't use this because I don't own the four, but you clip this thing onto the back, or you don't clip it, you attach it using one of these onto the back of your waterproof case for your GoPro, which I do have a waterproof case. I had that on my other one of these, which I also lost. I gotta stop losing things. And so you just clip this thing on if you want it to float, which I don't know why you'd need that because you already have one of these things to float, but you know, who knows. I have my second one of these because I don't know why not. You know, I have a whole entire case right here, which I can carry all my accessories and stuff in right there. This little bag, which you can take for accessories that you you, uh, you have separate than other ones, or for your GoPro, which I actually have, uh, don't have it down here at the moment, but I have a backpack that I carry all my GoPro stuff with in. And so I have a lot of these, okay, I'll pull these things out. A lot of things so you can take one of these things off. This is the original GoPro ones. These are the off-brand cheaper ones. So you click, I can put it right here. I have a GoPro look this way. And so I have a lot of these things for a lot of different places. And so I, if you guys don't know, I have a kayak. It's a Hobie Pro Angler 12. So I clip this thing on, clip my GoPro to it like right here. So I pretend this thing's right here. I clip this thing onto the GoPro. So I clip it at, so as extra... Uh, uh, extra, I don't know what you want to call it, extra safety, I guess. And so you clip this thing onto the other part or some like right thing next to your kayak. You just imagine it in your mind like it's happening. And you clip this thing to the GoPro, and yeah, I mean, extra safety. And so if you're in a car and you assume there's going to be a car crash or something, you, how they always do, or if you're in like a zombie movie and something like that, you have to clip it like this, or you know, it's the only time I've ever seen this thing used. You clip it to like the front window or something of your car. And you have this thing right here, and so pretend, just gotta keep pretending, guys, don't worry. Pretend you're in a car, and this is the GoPro thing, and you just clip it on, and so people can see. I really don't know, I don't even know why I bought this thing. And so, the most, one of the most important things is a chest strap. And so, if you care more about your GoPro, and you're not, like, because this thing, I could easily drop this thing, all the shaking, you could easily drop it off. Which, I actually have a string that connects it to something else, so it doesn't drop off. 
but this thing ain't going to come off if you want a different view from going this way instead of coming down from your head you use a chest strap and this one I have a little clip right here so I can bring it up and down and I can bring it left and right but I tighten that thing too much and so this is a hat uh, clip so I'm using my good old rebel hat one of my great one of the great brands there are for going for pan fish and stuff or small bass also and so you just wear this thing on your head and you can put the GoPro right there which it looks a little bulky which I don't like I want to see if I can buy a smaller one of these so I don't look like I'm like literally just came out of like some random store with a really big thing attached to my hat like you know the stores they clip stuff on so you don't steal it yeah one of these that's kind of what it looks like to me I don't know if it looks like to you I could just be going crazy okay and so my second camera I use for taking pictures is the don't know the name and still don't know how to charge it. It's the Panasonic DMC GXI. It's a great HD camera, great for thumbnails and stuff. If you're really trying to get a good thumbnail, this is just an amazing camera. And so this is just a camera. I'm not going to really go in depth on this thing. I mean, if you want to go in depth, just find a video yourself. I'm too lazy to do it. And so that is the camera. And so I have a lot of different straps and stuff and a whole bunch of different uh, connectors. So this is what you connect onto a tripod. And so I see if I have another piece. Like right here, you you could, there's a little spot, you know, and you just clip this thing on and tighten this thing with one of these. So you take one of these, you put your GoPro in just like that, and you tighten that thing up just like this. And it tightens your GoPro, and if you need, you can move it up and down if you really want. And so this is a great thing if you're going skydiving, which, I mean, if you're going to go skydiving, uh, you know, bring a GoPro if you really want. Or you can just be more, like, more careful about your safety. But who really does that? It's 2017. And so you go like this. You strap that baby on. So you have your GoPro right here. And so, I mean, you can look like you're shooting, like, a gun or something like that. Like, pew, pew, okay? And so you have the camera right here. And so you could just like, you could either have it coming this way so it shows everything you're doing, or you could turn this or something like that. I don't really know. And so you, it shows your face going this way so it shows everything. And so just a better, another angle for you guys. If you're pretty much going out fishing, I can have a different angle. Or if I'm doing some cool, who knows what, swinging off a swing because that's awesome. And you need to look, do a cool backflip or something like that. And so this is what you put on top of your helmet, which I don't actually have a helmet with me, but my GoPro helmet, I have a different clip for that. Oh, I don't know where my GoPro helmet is, do I? Man, I gotta stop losing things. And so this is the helmet you attach right on to the top of your helmet. And so you just strap this thing on and you're good to go. That's about all I'm going in depth on that. This, I have no clue what the use is for. Sorry to went on that. So this is just to clean your lenses, which you could probably already assume. This, pretty sure you use it for a bike, not 100% sure. And so I think you just undo this and you just undo that and then you attach this thing right on to your bike and so you just attach this thing onto the handlebar of your bike go like that do a little bit of that that looks pretty good tighten this thing up tighten this thing up tighten that thing up and you're good to go so you attach your gopro and so people can see your awesome bike tricks because yeah this thing well you can already assume it tightens your uh your uh these things you can tighten it if you're too lazy to use your hands another one of these which this thing looks really cheap so i'm probably not going to be using this thing i have a better one i actually designed by gopro and so i think i've gotten pretty in depth on mostly everything i use for when i go out and use my gopro and stuff so when i'm in a ice fishing shack or something i usually have my tripod right here you know i already went into this and so I have, I don't know my ice fishing pole down here, but I have a normal poles. So let me just grab one of these. One of my freaking 13 Fluger presidents I have. Pull that thing off. And so just pretend like you're fishing. I don't know why I pulled it off. And you're just like this. You could either have this thing on so it shows it like this. So when you're fishing, it shows it straight like this. You can actually, I bet you could probably clip this thing on your pole or clip. You could probably clip this thing on your pole right here. So I mean, if you really want, I don't know why you would. I mean, probably, what is this? This is a Elite Tech walleye jigging pole. That thing must be expensive. But, if you really want, I love using this thing because it shows the whole view. You can use the chest strap, so if you want to go look like this, going straight out. This, it just makes you look really dumb. I, if you've seen someone wearing a head strap, you look kind of dumb. That thing makes you look more professional. But I'm better, the quality of my videos looks better not using a chest strap. I don't really care how I look as long as the video quality is good, you know. 
And so that's about all I got. So, I mean, if you're going, I usually have these things like attached places and stuff. So I have one on my kayak. Clip that right there. And then, yeah, I mean, you probably already went into that. But pretty much, I think I went over everything. I don't think I left anything out. No, I don't think I did. And so, as you guys might already know, I'm not the best, like, guy who goes over stuff, you know? The, whatchamacallit, the, um, reviewer or, like, a review video kind of guy. I'm not very good at review videos. So, if you guys did like this video, hit that like button. And so, I hope you guys love the video. Peace out.